Hello friends, welcome back to my channel PU Zone, myself Priya. Today I am going to discuss the remaining types of evidences in this video. So let's start. The 11th type of evidence is prima facie evidence. Prima facie evidence refers to the evidence whose existence is questionable but at the same time it establishes a fact. The existence of such evidence cannot be questioned until it is rebutted. It is also called as presumptive evidence as it is sufficient to raise a presumption of the truth of a fact until and unless it is argued and rebutted. Such evidence is sufficient to establish a basic fact. The twelfth, statistical evidence. Statistical evidence refers to the data which people search or investigate for the purpose of proving a particular point. Such evidence measures the strength of the evidence. For example, restaurants stating the fact that they serve 1 million people per year or 2 million migrants have crossed the border. The thirteenth type of evidence is testimonial evidence. Testimonial evidence refers to evidence used to prove a particular point by testimony to the courts. Testimony can be either spoken or formal written statements. In certain cases, the testimonial evidence is inadmissible in court of law. In the following cases, the evidence will not be allowed. If it is misleading and wastes the time of the court, if it is unfair and detrimental, if it comes from the information between the attorney and the client, if it is not actually provided by the expert witness. The fourth point, I will give the example for the fourth point. A doctor is called for the testimony, however a nurse appears as a witness. The next type is judicial evidence. Judicial evidence refers to evidence received by the court that prove or disprove the facts. Such evidence includes confessions of accused in a court of law, statement of witnesses in a court of law, documentary evidence and facts presented for examination by the court. The next type is non-judicial evidence. Non-judicial evidence primarily refers to the confession made by the accused outside the court of law and in the presence of any person. If such evidence is proved in the court of law, then it takes the form of judicial evidence. Next, primary evidence. Primary evidence is an original document that needs to be submitted before the court for inspection. This type of evidence is admissible without prior notice. The next type of evidence is secondary evidence. Secondary evidence is inferior type of evidence. It implies that even after producing secondary evidence, one needs to produce primary evidence in order to fill in the gaps. If the secondary evidence is accepted without any objection, within a reasonable time, the parties do not have the right to argue that the point was proved with the help of secondary evidence and not primary evidence. The next evidence is real evidence. Real evidence is also known as material evidence. It is tangible evidence that the court can examine for itself. Tangible means which can be touched. Such type of evidence needs to be supported by a witness, preferably an expert witness who can explain the significance of evidence. Real evidence includes material object, murder weapons in murder, case, murder cases, photographs, position and state of deceased body in a murder case, video recordings, out of court inspection, person's behavior and appearances. The next type is oral evidence. Oral evidence refers to evidence which is confined to the words spoken by mouth. It is sufficient to be proved without any documentary evidence provided if the statement is contradictory to the previous statement then the oral evidence may be considered as doubtful. The next and last is substantive or corroborative evidence. Sorry substantive and corroborative evidence. In layman's language, substantive refers to something considerable that is to have a strong base whereas corroborative refers to something that needs to be more considerable. Substantive evidence refers to evidence introduced for what it helps to prove itself. Example, computerized bank records in a credit card fraud case, 
emails in cyber stacking case and image files in child pornography corroborative evidence is fact which supports the main fact which enhances the evidentiary value of fact a is tried for the murder of b example example in this case is a is tried for the murder of b a and b being husband and wife as husband is alcoholic and used to beat his wife on regular basis he even threatened many times to kill her in her sleep these facts may be taken into consideration by the court as corroborative evidence against the accused husband thus to conclude that evidence is an imperative part of every case whether it is a criminal case or a civil suit as it validates a fact the facts can be used in evidence for deciding as well as proving the disputed facts evidence attaches weight to the facts quoted as evidence thus various types of evidence can be used for proving and disproving facts so this much regarding types of evidence so if you like the video then please subscribe to my channel and please click on bell icon for further notifications thank you